Uh, we come back to the spot where we left off. Um, let's see, Zilius, uh, what is your uh, what uh, uh, your character had just found out about uh, Moira Wright hiding in terror? Yes, I hiding behind a tree, afraid of something. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had managed to to see this without getting caught myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, could could I also like tell what, what it was she was terrified of? I, I presume the the vampire that just appeared. But you don't quite see. Um, you like it's likely that it's the vampire. It, um, but like you you don't see anything else. Um, you do you do spot that Ezekiel is uh, talking with. Uh, uh, Lazarus and having a heart to heart in the background, but uh, that's about it. All right, then. Uh, because I can't help myself, I I, know, I can't. I, I am very tempted to just terrify poor Moira. <laughs> um. Oh no! Do it. So what I'm going to do is, if it terrifies her, it terrifies her. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm going to uh, sneak up because she's she's not aware of me and yeah. uh, like. I'm afraid of the wand, because, you know, a terrified wizard in training is dangerous. Yeah. With a wand in hand. Yeah. And at the ready. So I'm going to, like, try and sneak up and, like, quickly pluck the wand right out of her hand and be like, hey, Moira, what's going on? Okay. Um, I think... Uh, that feels like. Um, by the way, uh, keep uh, keep in mind the um, uh, playbook moves that you have. Uh, usually, mm -hmm. I'll be like, "Oh, this sounds like one of the, those core moves." But uh, if you have a playbook move that applies pretty well, uh, um, just yeah, uh, Let's use that. See. I believe. Um, yeah, I believe what you're doing is uh, braving danger. You're, you're, uh, there's a wand that could go off at any moment, and you, you're getting close to it and trying to snatch it. Mad skills. I fell miserably. Whatever it is, I am, I am afraid. <laughs> Uh, well, you are no Gryffindor. That is unfortunately a five. Uh, that is that is a fail. So um, you. Uh, uh, you because yeah, I don't think this would be a uh, always have a plan move. Yeah, no. Um, you, did you you did some did you select another playbook move because I believe you yes oh, enabler. Okay, and they, right. So whenever you you help, you give a, a plus two or a plus, or a minus three, right? Right. I can. Okay. Cool. Um, in this case, yeah, you um. Uh, surprise her. Uh, she screams, Petrificus Dr. Hellas! Uh, like, uh, um, and uh, completely like freezes you. You are going to uh, mark a restraint on your character sheet. Um, it's, the, it's the hex. It counts technically as life points, and each of mm -hmm. them does a minus two penalty to, another, to one of the uh, core moves. You completely tense up, and she, uh, shaking, she's going to uh, look down at her wand that's like, uh, whose whose glow is starting to fade, and says, "I did it. I, I, oh, I'm so sorry, uh, Zandron. Um, ah. Revivify." And it does not work. You're still you're still uh, like feeling. Uh, like super tense. Uh -huh. uh. She's like, Shh. Get me out of this. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull your robes back. This danger here. Just don't grunt. Okay. And uh, she. She goes. Behind. What are you doing with my robes? <laughs> she, she basically like tips you backwards. Uh, and she's going to like r uh, drag you back as your feet bump against the uh, the stone uh, rocks of the uh, um, of the shore, um, and 
yeah, she t she 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 takes you like somewhere else uh, where she thinks that you the two like that you'll be safe before she tips you back uh, like correctly, and you can feel that you're starting to be able to move again, but you're you're still you're un until you uh, use a move that clears a hex, you are going to keep a uh, restraint. You're you're gonna still feel a little bit like tense. Um, and uh, so yeah, she is uh, going to say, uh, "What did what did you see out there? What did you okay? Blink once if you saw the 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 large, scary man." <laughs> <laughs> I can't blink. <laughs> okay, well, oh, well, then you can move. You can move your. You seem to be able to move your mouth uh, enough to speak. So, did you see the? Did you see the 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 evil guy? In the fog. I saw a person in the fog, and then I saw you hiding behind a tree. Yes. Well, okay. Well, uh, we're far away enough from him. Did you see anything else? Yes, I also saw you sneaking out here towards individuals out here, and I was curious. Okay. All right. Well, you're not supposed to be uh, 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 here at this time of night either. So uh, you don't tell anyone, and I won't tell anyone. Okay. Well, perhaps, when I'm able to move, we can come to an accord. No, we can come to an accord right now. Uh, it's, it's easy. Uh, not only would we both get detention, but you would have the... the uh, you would have, uh, I would be able to tell everyone that uh, I, I petrified you before you, before you could even do do anything while you were sneaking up on me and you're supposed to be good at those things right i grew in re your reputation good so. at sneaking up no amazing at planning traps and nefarious other things yes well uh execution uh uh, uh, uh needs uh, a little bit of uh, improvement so we keep this a quiet. We keep this a secret, okay? I, don't I feel want this attention. is extremely one-sided. I don't want detention. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a good Hufflepuff. Our house is going to win the, the house cup this year. I can feel it. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, well, been to detention, done that. I need a potion. Um, I'll 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 take uh. Well, you should be able to walk in five minutes, maybe. Uh, we'll, I'll take you to the infirmary. Okay. Uh, Discord quit. Oh, no, he back. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm back on. Almost. We can almost see you. Yeah. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Connect with the video. There we go. Ta-da! You disapparated for a moment. I yeah. did. I did disapparate. Um, okay. So, uh, moving to uh, Coleman. Uh, sorry, Cole Chapman. Uh, you, yeah, you, you were. Um, you, you see Filch, uh, uh, like escorting all of the all of the humans. Uh, uh, like beyond the protection field of Hogwarts, and uh, and then like turns back, and he's going to uh, like head back towards the, the the castle grounds, and you see him uh, walking over the line that the the Muggles drew in the sand, stopping. Uh, his eyes go kind of a little bit like blank, and uh, he looks at he looks down at his watch. And says, "Oh damn!" Turns around and like uh, 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 hurries off into the night. 
Wait, he has a watch? Mm-hmm. Well, that's not... That, that's not sneaky at all. That, that, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> Since when do... Wait. I, I think, like, Cole's thinking, wait. How come he has a watch and I don't? Wait, how come he has a watch? He shouldn't have a watch. Like, we're not allowed to even have a pen. Why, why don't you have a watch? Why do you have a watch? That's weird. Where are you going? Uh... You have, gonna, you have seen this, this like, uh, a large um, tower uh, in, in... Oh, no, no, yeah, 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 I yeah. meant, like, wristwatch. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, nobody uses wristwatch that I'm aware of, right? At school? Uh, it's actually a little bit more common to have uh, hourglasses or sundials, but the... Mm -hmm. uh, but because technology does not work anywhere near Hogwarts, uh, uh, you like at least electricity based uh, technology uh, you still have to have you know clocks to tell you the, the, the time and stuff like this uh, we, we, did, we did see the Weasleys with like this uh, strange clock of where are they at at any point so oh yeah so we know this uh, clock nice okay uh, so in the thing well, yeah, but like clocks are mechanical; they don't have like any electricity. That thing mm -hmm. actually makes me curious. How does like the car starts up? Because car start up is an electrical circuit. Yeah. <laughs> so well, now I'm curious. Wait, how does the car start up? <laughs> well, it's but, yeah, also uh, a magical I think car. I'm, I'm, so. I'm, <laughs> Magic. Yeah, I think I'm. I, I'm going to go back to like uh, like towards the other two. I think like if Filch is coming back, he might see me, and you know. I, I did kind of promise to maybe keep my head down, so mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe not get seen again. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you on the same night. <laughs> you can see um, uh, you can see uh, Ezekiel is uh, standing alone in in the mist. The mist is kind of parting around him right now, as if somebody, uh, as if like a large gust of wind. Uh, uh, Rushed over him, and he's looking upwards to this uh, uh, shadow of a large bat zooming away. And uh, Zandran is, uh, uh, and you, and you overhear Zandran, uh, um, like furiously saying, mm -hmm. "Unfreeze me now!" <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and and uh, you hear another voice saying, "Shh." I can hear footsteps. Shh. Um, I know who they are. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, hi. Uh, uh, hey, Cole. Zan? Ezekiel. Okay, hold on. Uh, Lumos. And uh, there's a, a light that wait, starts wait, wait. Put to... The, put the light down. Filch might come back. Um, uh, and she, she... Okay, so A... Uh, she uh, the as as she uh, like turns on the Lumos spell, you you can tell that she puts this basically like pink piece of plastic on top of the on, on the tip of her wand that colors all of her spells, uh, and so like <laughs> it's it's a it's a kind of like fuchsia uh, light that's emanating from her from her wand, and uh, she says no no it's okay. The, the large man disappeared um, and uh, and flew off and Filch um, he's he's a um, he's uh, he's a muggle born of wizards a squib uh, he got affected by this by by the protection of, of Hogwarts because he was outside he's not going wait. to come back he's he's got an important meeting to go to that he just remembered wait 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 just Filch is affected by that thing yeah, he's not a wizard. He didn't know that. I. He might have. I don't. He might have forgotten. Maybe he didn't How? realize he was stepping out of bounds. I don't know. I, I'm gonna like turn to Z Z Z Zan and Zeke and like. Is is that guy really like g like you know qualified to be like a groundskeeper or something? Both. I mean. Both. More important things. Unfreeze me. <laughs> Wait, why are you frozen? 
I, I I'm, kind of, I'm kind of curious too. I, I just, <laughs> uh, I, I, my wand went off accidentally. Uh, I wasn't scared or anything. I, I just, I just. Uh, it's a lie. <laughs> Wait, didn't I, I, I very reasonably thought someone? he was a, uh, a vampire that was going to kill me. Well, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> oh, quick, someone unfreeze me. <laughs> um, he's he's I he's starting to be able to move his elbow and speak. That's not um okay. We we we're gonna have to take turns carrying him back until he can uh. uh Move again. Gotta get back before Filch. Before somebody shows up. Also, I never saw you guys here. You guys never saw me here, okay? If I am not done frozen before we get back to the castle, all of you will have exploding pillows. <laughs> well, you can't. Oh, kind of... <laughs> uh, uh, if you don't know where where the half of common room is. I don't. I don't think you can get it and get an explosive pillow under my be uh, on my bed. <laughs> my eyes narrow. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> as, as I, 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 I just kind of whisper, I, put, I can I, find out anything. I, I, I'm gonna you put can... a hand on Moira and like. Wait, you really think three of the three of us can't find out? Well, uh, I I do, but. Uh, look, what I, 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 I made him squint his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Zeke looks over at Moira and is just like, Look, it's a deal if we don't get caught. We won't yes. tell anyone that you saw us. And you won't tell anyone that you just saw my dad turn into a giant bat and fly away. <laughs> that was your dad? Right. No, yeah. let's go. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, he's cool. He 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 threatened to throw me off the castle just now. Shut up, Cole. <laughs> okay. Um. So. The whole time I'm getting carried, I'm just questioning Moira about what she was doing. Okay. And uh, demanding to be unfrozen. <laughs> okay. yeah, so like halfway through the to the castle, um, like you you can you you're gonna be able to walk, uh, sufficiently to get back there. Uh, also, you, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you're still gonna be just slow down a little bit, so you have minus two to um, find a way out. Um, and yeah, I'm probably gonna like, um, like partially carry, like help carry him or something. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Moira, this entire time is deflecting the questions you're asking her, and. Uh, Asking Zeke about, uh, like, uh, about vampires, and she she's like, so wait, is it is it like werewolves, and there's a a, a cure that uh, helps them not need to feed on humans, or is uh, uh, or is it irreversible? Zeke just kind of sighs, like I don't think it can be reversed I I thought I was on to something but I don't know anymore and we don't I mean they don't they don't have to eat people I mean there's blood donors and stuff uh, yeah yeah that's really plus he was eating a rabbit so <laughs> what what were you doing out here? Are you like were you like sneaking up on those reporters? What were trying, you doing out here? Doing? Huh? We saw you. My dad. <laughs> we we saw you sneaking out, and that's why we came here. Well, I was meeting someone, and that's all I'm gonna say. Ooh, ooh! Are, are you like <laughs> sp spilling the secret of Hogwarts to those Muggle reporters? Shh, no, I was protecting Hogwarts. Now stop asking questions. Hmm, suspicious. Extremely suspicious. So who who is this guy? Uh wait, were you meeting La Lazarus? I I'm I'm okay, 
the, uh, the, the Hufflepuff common room is this way. I'm leaving now. Which way is that? <laughs> yeah. She's starting to head off to, in the general direction of the Great Hall. I know. <laughs> I just see, I just see him like take out like his mental like notebook and jot that down. Slowly <laughs> reach into my cloak and pull out a notepad. Great. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, like, right. If you if you have if you make a complete map of uh, Hogwarts and you 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 have arrows pointing in every direction that player uh, students like head towards when they say they're going to their common room, you could eventually have enough arrows to be like they're all converging on this point. <laughs> yes, I will find it. <laughs> Yeah. Like, is, I'm just picturing him with like with, with like the big cork board that has like the red strings. Like, uh, yes, <laughs> I'm getting closer every day. What are you talking about? I already have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> For every house, I will find so, out. So you never what, know. So, so what we're basically saying is that Xander is meticulously creating a handmade uh, Marauders map. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. your, uh, yeah, your characters, I'm assuming, make their way back to the Slytherin common room, where, uh, in the green decor of this gloomy place, you, uh, there's a large table upon which the house elves have set a Halloween feast for the three of you who were uh, uh, not taking part. Uh, you guys are famished at this point and uh, you're, you're going to eat the cold but delicious food, go to sleep and then we're going to cut to uh, the next morning. Um, let's see, the classes that you have the next morning are going to be... Uh, uh, Quidditch, uh, Transfiguration, and then Defense Against the Dark Arts. Because those All are right. the professors that I had already, uh, uh, that I had like <laughs> ideas for. Um, okay, so in, in the morning, um, yeah, w uh, you guys are meeting at the uh, Slytherin table. Uh, the tables have been rearranged and new rules have been put in place so that everybody can, like, uh, they're they're forming kind of a square and everybody can go uh, uh, to any of the tables if they so want. Um, but yeah, apart from this, the the great hall is like pretty normal, buzzing with uh, energy in the morning. There's uh, uh, the entire uh, there's an entire group of fourth years who uh, have somehow found out there's a surprise test in potions uh, uh, in 15 minutes and they are panicking. Um, what are your characters doing? <laughs> I, I think, I was just gonna say, I think Zeke's like asking like, are you feeling okay after being petrified last night? I am sitting there with my notebook, observing the room, and and specific specific people, individually. <laughs> it's like ah, from that direction, yes. I I will be fine, but I will learn something today that will be invaluable. <laughs> are, are are you trying to find a way to the Hufflepuff common room? No, I'm studying a person specifically. I think you Why should. Maybe try finding a way into the Gryffindor common room. <laughs> oh, I have a well, way we... into the Gryffindor. Oh, that's right, we oh. do. I forgot about that. Yeah, to Tobias showed us the way. <laughs> I have a way into any room. I just simply need time. You know, if you were planning on pranking someone that happened to be in the Gryffindor <laughs> room, may I suggest <laughs> someone with whose name rhymes with Moby? Perhaps later. Currently, I need to better <laughs> understand our upperclassmen in Slytherin. Ooh. Interesting. Which one? Uh, 
Jeremy over there. You see, he is a second year, and he is going to the transmogrification classes. But if I can perfectly pretend to be him, I can learn a higher tier magic to use. And I need that. I don't know what for yet. It's always wait, good to wait. know. Wait, so you're going to transmogrify yourself into Jeremy to go to his class to find out how to transmogrify into him? No. I am trying to best study how Jeremy acts so that when I do pretend to be him because I duct taped him and locked him in a closet, then <laughs> no one will question Isn't me. Isn't he bigger than you? Spells. He... He is larger than me, but that is easily that is easily altered. Ooh, you're gonna if I, ha if I have the you're confidence. You're gonna petrify him. Then. Nice. Well, I did see Moira do it, and I'm not going to tell you if I did or did not test it out on rats last night. <laughs> but <laughs> I so have a plan, and it's going to take some time. Oh, is that why there were all those squeaky noises from the bathroom this morning? It, I don't ask too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> the less uh, we know, the better. <laughs> also, just letting everybody know, um, uh, they, uh, when you you have the move to go to class, you have the option to learn uh, how to use a new type of magic. This could be like brewing a certain potion, uh, learning a specific spell. This is related to you know uh, what's described. Uh, as, as being part of the lesson, and then you can use the um, uh, wits move uh, called uh, um, apply magic to basically use those spells uh, or, or potions. You just need to write down like what you learned um, in that lesson if you choose to listen in class, which is uh, an optional decision. And let's see. Okay, I have decided uh, this. Uh, you have chosen a Slytherin, uh, uh, Jeremy Hopkins, whose personality should not be too difficult to uh, imitate. Uh, buh, buh, buh. I'm gonna make him pop up on Roll20 as soon as the image is done loading. Um, okay, do you plan on doing that today? Uh, yes, I am. I am studying him during in the morning, uh, getting uh, just listening to everything he says. You know, just trying to get an idea of exactly how he acts. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to try and impersonate him in a class he rarely attends, transmogrify, okay. transmogrification class, okay. and uh, I, I I am going to need help from my accomplices, which okay. you two are now signed up for, by the way. Um. We yeah. we can't say that that class is going to take place, uh, um, like in the evening after the after the other free, and uh, you can spend some of your downtime uh, actually like helping out and and doing this. So this is a uh, end of the day type uh, thing. Oh oh no! I I totally intended my class to be his class. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because okay. um, um, one, of, one of the things I was trying to complete mm -hmm. was spend a day in classes meant for other years. You got it. Um, so it, is that to be done in a downtime, or is that to be done when no, I'm supposed no, no, to be we doing can, my we, normal class? We can, we can do it uh, now. I'm just going to be describing different uh, uh, classes for, for you and everybody else. Um, so I would like for you yeah. to... Um, Describe to me how you're going to dispose of the real uh, Jeremy Hopkins, who is the other beater on the um, uh, on the Slytherin team, um, but with a very straightforward personality. Uh, essentially, like Quidditch, hits hit stuff with bat. Um, so yeah, and yeah. Well. After kind of getting his personality and the way he talks and everything kind of mm -hmm. situated, I uh, I prepare to get my hair fixed up like his, and then I'm gonna look towards Cole and I'm gonna be like, 
So, Cole, I hear you have a surprise Quidditch meeting that you heard about from Captain on the other side of Hogwarts. Do, do you want me to take, uh, do you want me to take, like, Jeremy, like, away so you could, like, pretend to be him in the class? Yes, just uh, tell him there was a, a, a team Quidditch team meeting um, going on. Who maybe may, for, for Slytherin? Who maybe he'll give me some more pointers on how like how like how, how to be a better beater. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yes, Ooh. yes, there you go. Brilliant. Brilliant. All right. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, you. You walk up to Jeremy, um, who, like, you know, uh, right now is munching on some porridge. Um, he uh, uh, he uh, sees you and... Uh, 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 what, is, what is your um, nickname in the, t in the Quidditch team? Uh, uh, oh, uh, d does, does he say, uh, uh, hi, think fast? And uh, like, just shoots a little bit of of, of bread at you, uh, seeing if you're gonna be able to block it as well as you're supposed to like block blood uh, bludgers. Um, yeah, yeah pr pr probably. I think I'm going to like use my wand as a bat and hit it. <laughs> okay. Um, your wand your wand does not break, uh, but it, it bends it bends a little bit uh, uh, and it flings it back. And Jeremy says, uh, uh, "Nicely done. You're you're getting the reflexes perfectly now. Um, all you have to do, all you have to do is be in that attitude while you're also dodging us who are flying around." Nice. Hey, uh, listen. Uh, I know you probably have some class right now, but I know we have this game coming up, and with the weather and everything, and you know, I got. Uh, k kind of yelled at by the headmistress last night, so maybe you could like maybe help me out, maybe um maybe maybe. Um, sorry. Uh, uh, I got this big potions test uh, that I did not study for this this morning. Slughorn is uh, wants to uh, uh, Slughorn let it slip to uh, to his. Uh, weekly uh, club that uh, he wanted to see uh, who was best at uh, at uh, potions and uh, so his surprise test oh Z oh Z can help he's he's like uh, close friends with Slughorn. well uh, no, i don't need i don't need pro professor Cl Ch chicken face i i That's sucked right. up the both of them <laughs> ah see um Straight. I don't need to get into the club. I need to get good grades, or my dad's gonna kill me. Yeah, yeah. Zeke's good with potions. He he could like he, he, you heard about like potion stuff, right? You, you could help him, right? I I mean I pay attention in class. I don't know if that makes me better than anyone else who's paying attention. Right. Um. No offense, but your first years. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll slide over, kind of, kind of next to him. I'm like, but Jeremy, you said you didn't know the best potion, right? Right. My friend Zeke here knows the potion that specifically requires garlic, and Zeke has an exceptional amount of knowledge on garlic. Something that not even you yourself, as a second year, and all of your wisdom, could even hope to understand. At least until your third year, you will get there. But I'm in, I'm in fourth year. You're in fourth year. I yes. said second year, but we'll go with yeah, fourth year. <laughs> fourth year. <laughs> but yes, you will understand at some point. I am certain of it. But this potion is known by very few, and if it is a surprise test, you could let. Oh, save me! Uh, I could go in and do the test as Zeke instructed, and then, boom! You get an amazing grade. Your dad is happy because your grades are amazing. You can help out Cole on his Quidditch questions, and then we all have a great day. 
<laughs> you don't. He have just kind of like looks I incredulous, like and I'm like, like roll what to... could I possibly know about garlic that would help? <laughs> roll to Nothing. roll to break the rules. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Break the rules. Seven. Oh my gosh. Okay. A. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, it works. Okay, so uh, when you have to do something forbidden to achieve your goal, tell the GM what your goal is, um, and uh, you get a hit, so you reach your goal. Um, are you, you're basically just distracting him for the entire day, right? Yes. Okay. That way um, I can impersonate him. <laughs> yeah. So um, you're like, you know he's absolutely rubbish at potions, and fancies he fancies the chances of another student impersonating him better than his own on a potions test. So he is like it's it's gonna take a bit of convincing, but he uh, uh, he's in for like you know just just not go <laughs> not having to deal with this and and doing some like yeah. other yeah. homework or something. Um, okay. And uh, so you have to choose. Um, uh, you choose two. You don't get into trouble. You don't get hurt. It doesn't take a long time, and nobody bad finds out. All right. So I feel like I'm gonna get trouble at the end of it because obviously they're gonna find out. I like yeah. that sticking around. Like at the end of the day, they find yeah. out. And they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna leave that one. Yeah. Uh, I do want to take that I don't get hurt doing this because that just doesn't make sense mm -hmm. to me in this context. Yeah. And um, and you already said it takes a long time to convince them, so I figure we'll stick with that and just nobody bad finds out. Yeah. Okay. So uh, only oh, probably... oh, like only one of the teachers is gonna find out and just going to like give you detention for it. Yeah. I okay. Guess. Um, I'll, I'll take the tension. <laughs> yeah, uh, because your house, your house rank cannot drop some more. So uh, you and since uh, and since you you said uh, you are getting in trouble and it takes a long time, then you 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 mark detention instead of your house rank dropping by one. But yeah, um, that's that's perfect. Um, so yeah, you're going to spend the entire day. <laughs> Uh, impersonating this other student like poorly um but <laughs> slughorn like he's n he's he's not one of slughorn's favorites so slughorn is not like paying attention uh too much the transfiguration teacher is going to congratulate you on uh your perfect disguise as a first year and <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, it's 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 only when um, it's only when you when you get to uh, defense against the dark arts and you're doing like terribly against a um, let's see uh, you're doing terribly against a uh, boggart getting petrified. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, like you get you get fucking terrified by the boggart, and that's when you you are found out and given detention so just just mark detention and you and yep, you mark detention and um as soon as we roll uh downtime you can unmark it and also you fulfilled uh one of your four uh pranks. Chachi. nice now question uh -huh. on the on the potion bit yeah when we make the potion are we are we able to keep it or is it like turned in and we don't get to keep it uh, it's it's turned in. Uh, the the cauldron gets placed in front uh, in front of Slughorn for inspection, and you know, as is the case with chemistry class, you you have to clean up everything, uh, all of the equipment you used after you were done, even if you use magic. So that means yeah, that, like uh, we see Snape vanishing potions when they're when uh, they're done. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. It, it, as as we're doing the cleanup, and because uh, I mean I, I doubt I make any amazing potion, mm -hmm. but the whole potion that I make is uh, for his test is, is going to be a stink bomb. 
the most oh, no. I, fi- I figured smelling. I figured that you that you took the most smelly uh, uh, ingredients and combined yeah. all of them and then burnt and, and the I put crap it in a it. yeah and I put it in a delayed release. Okay. Like, like, kind of try to make it like, oh, like, you don't smell nothing, and then you take another sniff, and you're like, well, what's that smell? You take another sniff, and it's like, <laughs> um, <laughs> and, yeah. and I want to, yeah. I try to make that in for his test, and then I, if possible, I try to, like, while I'm cleaning up, like I'm supposed to, try and be like, whoops, that bottle went missing, yeah. ooh. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> um... So, yeah, you're not gonna get, uh, like, you're a first year. Um, yeah. You're not gonna get the slow, like, it stinks yeah. immediately, as everywhere, <laughs> as soon as you op- open the bottle. So, yeah, so, um, so I, I cork it, then I'm like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, the other two, you are going to uh, find your way to the... Um, uh, professor of Quidditch, uh, the, the the first thing that you have in the morning. Uh, we already had an image for her. It's uh, Professor Sigla uh, Rockenford. Um, so the first couple of lessons, uh, she she had uh, shown to be pretty enthusiastic about uh, you know uh, teaching you the the, the subtleties of. Uh, Quidditch and stuff like this. Uh, well, like, you know, controlling a room and stuff like this. Um, today, she is, uh, when you uh, when you all have, like, your full gear and protections and equipment and you make your way to uh, the courtyard, you find uh, her basically uh, uh, taking a nap uh, five feet off of the ground. You see that there's two... Uh, two different brooms that are uh, oh, sorry that are holding the 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 like not a the the hammock that she is uh, resting in <laughs> uh, and you you uh, once you like get up to her uh, she wakes kind of wakes up stretches and says all right well we've already gotten the rules to come up to our hands when we say up now it's it's time to figure out a little bit more um how the brooms react to to uh to instructions um so uh does anybody know where uh uh what the golden snitch used to be before it was a magical creation uh, that flies around. Yes, uh, Ezekiel. It was a bird. It was a bird, exactly. Um, they, 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 they used to use a, a live bird uh, that was really hard to catch. Uh, and they, and uh, you know we changed it to something a little bit more humane. Uh, but essentially the snitch has the the basic personality traits uh, of uh, of the bird in, uh, uh, implanted into it. It will try to dodge, like its survival is at stake, um, and it uh, uh, it will know how to fly around quickly. And each snitch can uh, has been shown to have a, a little bit of a different personality. There's uh, some that are sneaky, and there's some that are it will take big risks and slam into chases faces. Um, it's the same for boggarts. Uh, used to be back in the day, they were uh, uh, um, storm elementals. Uh, uh, we had to change it to uh, something a little bit less shocking uh, uh, Quidditch is still a, a very deadly game a lot of the time but much less deadly than it used to be and the brooms well uh, the brooms are are very simple they they function as a um, as a simplified dragon or griffin they will do what you what you order them so uh, uh, today we're, we're going to Practice calling your brooms from farther away, and uh, she's she's gonna start teaching all of you that. Uh, so when you go to class, you choose uh, 
do you want to listen in class? Do you want, uh, yeah, what's, um, or do you want to use your playbook moves? I think uh, Zeke, after seeing his, finding out his dad can fly by turning into a bat, he's honestly feeling like a bit jealous, like, but mm -hmm. he wants to do it in a less bat way. Um, mm -hmm. So he's, he's definitely paying attention. He's listening in class. All right. Uh, so then uh, we had a modified version of the rules uh, bu 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 for uh, listening in class. I just have no idea where I put it in the rules. So um, do you want to mark experience or do you want to learn uh, specifically how to fly with the group? I want to learn how to fly. Okay. The, in this case, uh, write it down and you have apply magic, you know, uh, uh, like fly around, uh, uh, learned. Um, what about coal? Uh, well, um, goddamn. Uh, <laughs> it's Quidditch, so yeah. I imagine Cole's probably gonna pay attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But Cole also got a poster of his favorite team, which I still don't know what is. So that's oh, yeah. also something he might want to like talk with, like mm -hmm. like talk with about someone, and might disturb a bit more. Also, since like Cole yeah. thinks that he does have like a handle on whatever being taught today, because uh, he did call the broom last night, which was mm -hmm. pretty epic in his own yeah. mind. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I think I think you oh, like you you I think you sh uh, you haven't used your uh, playbook class move yet. I think I think now would be a good time. It makes sense with the fact that you already did the fact that she, the, the the thing that she was talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So may, may, maybe like I'm uh, like marking camaraderie with uh, someone. Maybe someone who is also pretty good with. Uh, like brooms so maybe mm -hmm. the two of us are high up in the like in the like while everyone is being slow and like catching on we are like flying around and while we're doing that we're kind of like i'm chatting so my mom got me this cool poster it's so cool i nice. put it up like next to my bed it's like <laughs> nice, nice. So i don't know who, nice. i i don't know who this guy is but yeah, or, uh, yeah oh, i've is, got but. i've got I've, I've got an image for this person who would work super well um pu, 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 so that is going to be okay uh, pu, pu, uh what is uh okay can somebody come up with a family name that sounds british aberdeen i don't know okay <gasps> is that british i don't even know if it's that british it, it sounds, sounds british enough posh. Okay. British Jason. It sounds, it sounds very posh. I don't know why. I'm mean, I'm actually gonna look up. Yeah. Yeah, it's Scottish Gaelic. There we okay. go. Okay. All right. So that works. Uh, there we go. Uh, so it's going to be. Uh, she's called Max Haberdeen. Uh, I'm gonna write her down as being a first year. Nice. Uh, oh my okay. gosh. So yeah, you you mark camaraderie with her. Um. And like at uh, um, at some point, you see the teacher is going to notice the two of you are uh, talking to one another, not really paying attention to her class. Uh, and as you're flying high up in the air, uh, she she is going to uh, point her wand and says, "Drop!" And both both of your brooms instantly stop listening to your orders and start to, to drop and then the the teacher is going to say catch them and your brooms are going to like uh uh break your fall before you 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 hit the ground and she uh, and she's going to say right just because you got the hang of it doesn't mean you sh you shouldn't uh pay attention other wizards will can also be imposed on uh the the, the brooms um all right, that's that's good enough for today. Camera. Next lesson, I'm going to uh, I'm going to teach you how to uh, do 
a uh, how to be standing on the uh, on the broom and then we'll be introducing belts that are going to be used in the quidditch match because everybody uh well everybody needs to uh always have the 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 broom near their hand when they're in the air for safety reasons all right so that's it for this class um your characters spend the the rest of the uh morning with very confusing instructions from the professor of transfiguration uh so um like you when you get into his classroom you are going to find that the uh um the the chalkboard has uh written on it uh, uh, practice color changing, uh, but it's written in in a very like difficult to read chalk font, and uh, the the professor of transfiguration does not change into his human f into one of his human forms at all during the entire lesson. He's uh, he seems to be kind of stuck. This is uh, Chanticleer Cockburn, the uh, head of the Gryffindor house. Uh, after uh, McGonagall became headmistress. Right. Uh, oh no. Okay. So yeah, do you guys want to? Uh, um, yeah, I like. I'm. Ju I'm just gonna go over those classes real quick, and then we can uh, move on to the downtime in in the evening. Uh, basically, the last. Uh, the last uh, lesson is with the uh, professor against the, uh, professor of defense against the dark arts with Maria Strongheart. Um, she tells you that after a month of practice, you guys are pretty good at uh, at the essentials of defense against the dark arts, which is dodging the bludgers that she's been using to teach you how to dodge and uh, she says all right so now it's time for us to move to something a little bit more advanced no 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 do not take your wands out we haven't gone over one safety yet now you're going to learn how uh, uh the second most important thing of defending yourself when there's magical problems running um, okay, so we're gonna do four laps around the castle, and uh, I I will be uh, producing a um, a tickle charm on whoever uh, on the five people who are uh, the most behind. Starting now, and you see her uh, wheelchair starts to levitate slightly, and she's going to f to pursue like the first tiers, inflicting tickle charms on whoever <laughs> is like too slow. Um, okay. Um, you find yourselves uh, like in the evening. You you group up, uh, having spent the day completely apart and doing very different things. Um, it's now downtime. So what do you uh, uh, before we roll for downtime? Uh, what does the discussion like? What does it l sound like when your characters see each other again uh, in the evening? Zeke's uh, interested to see if uh, Zandrin got um, any... I'm actually curious if like Zan Zandrin and Cole meet in detention since we both got detention. Oh yeah, time. that's right. <laughs> oh. Forgot about that. <laughs> Zeke is like you. such a nice... Zeke is like such a nice uh, boy. Just like pay attention in class, like, be's the smart one, and Cole and Zen are just, like, zany. The, the, the two completely human classmates are the little gremlins, and then the, <laughs> the vampire kid is the one that just wants to pay attention. Also, Simon, we, we, we couldn't, I couldn't hear you before. I forgot to turn the mic no, I can hear you. Um, ah. There we go. Okay, how long have you... What was the last thing that I said that you heard? We meet. What happens when we meet? That's, that's oh, the last yeah. thing we heard from you. Oh, yeah, I don't and then think... you tried I to did. say something, we couldn't hear you. Uh, must not have been important. I've already forgotten. Um, <laughs> um, they, were, they were wondering if they meet in detention because they got detention um, before. 
Um, no, we're 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 going to say that like the det- the downtime happens um, slightly this evening and also tomorrow morning, and we're gonna do we're gonna this. I'm, I will describe the detention like when when we uh, describe the the whatever is happening in the downtime. Okay. So, um, gotcha. Do do I ever do a chance to do a class move in the classes I impersonate? Or? Yes. I uh, sorry. Usually, it's a, uh, I give this opportunity when I describe the class. Um, mm-hmm. You're you're going to be in classes that are way above your your skill level, but you get the the yeah. opportunity to learn uh, some tricks uh, that the first like uh, in some in, okay. in one of them. So you can choose between uh, learning in class. Uh, to gain one experience point, learn uh, uh, listening in the class to uh, uh, have a new use for apply magic, and also using your class move. What would you like to do? Um, because I'm in so above my head uh, mm-hmm. in in stuff that I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, I was kind of preoccupied in potions class, so I feel that I don't get anything from that. I got caught in defense against the dark arts, so that only re- leaves the transmogify where I actually got complimented. So I feel like since I was feeling so good there that I actually paid attention in there. Like, yeah, nice. look at me doing so good, and I'll do the uh, pay attention and try to learn something there because apparently oh I already God. know something, nice. oh my which God. is impersonating someone else. <laughs> Positive, positive reinforcement. What would you like yeah. to be the subject of that? Uh, class. Well, I feel like it was uh, since I got complimented on you know mm-hmm. transforming myself, Jeremy transforming into right, a first right. year. It was transforming someone to look mm-hmm. like someone else. Okay. Um. So you can you can write in apply magic that, and it's cut. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay. You return, and I'm returned again. Uh, you can run. You can write in apply magic that you 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 now have a, like a dis a disguise spell. Yeah. Okay. It's very it's vague enough that we can use it kind of any way that uh, we want when it's convenient for for, for the story. Um, so yeah. Okay. Uh, so do you look like? How different do you, uh, do you do you still have the disguise on when you 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 meet your friends that evening? Um, after I learn it in the class, after being complimented for like, oh, good job, Jeremy, you look like a first year. I I, I show up to them, but this time I look <gasps> exactly like Jeremy. Nice, nice. Oh, word. <laughs> as 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 I I sit down at the table and 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 pretend to be Jeremy. Okay. <laughs> Like, so how'd my can... potions go? Oh, uh, oh, you, you, oh, you Zen. Hey, nice. No, I'm Jeremy. Where's, where's, where's Zandrin? Um, Zeke, you can, you can, uh, um, your your predatory senses tell you that uh, this this does not really smell like Jeremy. It looks like Jeremy. <laughs> it it might taste like Jeremy, but it doesn't smell like Jeremy. Yeah, Zeke just kind of like gives him a look like <laughs> like it's a good disguise, but uh, we know it's you. I, I mean, and, then he, and then he looks over at Cole. He's like, you can tell it's him, right? Like, it's not just me. <laughs> like, uh. Like he looks totally like Jeremy, but like uh, he kind of. I gave it away by sitting down with you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing sitting down with us, nerds? Yeah, you're like fourth year. Jeremy's supposed to be fourth year. Yeah, drop the disguise. Of like, all right, all right. I learned a trick, and I have detention. Yeah, try oh, a. Same. I mean, if it matters for anyone else, try a smelling more like him. <laughs> oh, speaking of smell. Um, I have a plan. <laughs> nice. Wait, do you always have a plan? I always have a plan. Ah. I specifically Terrifying. took that move for a reason, so I can always say that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Does this plan involve, uh, 
Pete doing something weird? No. I don't know. I, I actually I have no idea. What 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 is this plan? This plan involves a location we have all visited recently. A, pl a location at which someone needs to smell a certain something. And also where potential information out, and I'll lean in and look around and then whisper, Hufflepuff might be hidden. Oh, so, oh, you're gonna, Hufflepuff like, do, 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 Ooh, hot, yeah, nice. No. I plan on oh, sneaking into the headmistress's office. What, leaving wait, a stink why? bomb and disguising that prank as I actually get the information for the Hufflepuff location. Oh! Uh, it's a grand yeah. scheme of which I will need a lookout for. I think it could, we could find out the Hufflepuff common room much like easier another way, but hey, much if you safer. Want to throw a bomb, but it would not be confirmed. Whereas the headmistress would have the exact location. That, if not, that, I just watch them yeah. for a long time. Could we blame the stink bomb on someone else? Moira, obviously. Yes. Why? Oh, I wasn't thinking. I liked her. Wait, wait, wait. Does does the stink bomb smell like garlic? The stink bomb smells horrible. I found out like, in potions class. Like garlic? I don't know. I it. I passed out. <laughs> <laughs> you passed out from the stink? Wow. Uh... I tried to make it delayed. Whatever I add was an accelerant and. <laughs> I learned that that was not a good thing. <laughs> but I think I got a better grade than Jeremy could have on the potion quiz. Oh, uh, he might be happy. Yes, um, his, his two friends that next to him in the class, unless they knew it was me, probably aren't happy. Ah. <laughs> By the way, don't mix things together that you don't know what they are. I found out it could be dangerous. <laughs> oh. Zeke just kind of looks at him and he's just like that. That's a good point to make for anything you make in potions, by the way, for future reference. <laughs> <laughs> by I the I will. Uh, uh, Go ahead. by the way, like this it's it's really starting to feel to your characters like uh the professor of defense against the dark arts, uh with Maria Strongheart had had a point when in the first lesson she, she was telling you about like uh, the you know how dangerous magic can be if you don't uh, 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 and how the way you're usually taught is kind of just like play with explosions until you figure out that explosions are bad um, and her her and like uh, you've seen multiple teachers try to like move slightly away from that teaching method and more towards something more uh, well different. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, uh, do, do, do. okay, I would like for everyone to roll, um, uh, downtime, please, and, oh uh, you- Do we untick the- Whoa! You- Bro. You untick the- you untick it after you've rolled it, uh, because it gives you the minus two to the roll because you have to spend time on- on- Detention, and then you just un mm -hmm. unmark the hex. Do we still have all the other hexes? Yeah, you still keep all of... and all that. Exactly, but you okay. can clear you can clear all the hexes that are not related to your uh, that that aren't like the one from your position from uh, being uh, in fourth place uh, in the house rankings. Uh, you can take all of the other ones out by uh, recovering in the library. It's part of the um, it's part of the downtime move. So um, I do a downtime. Nice. Uh, Damn, and, we all did good. Yeah, uh, we all rolled at least one six. You Very nice. you get you get a plus uh, you get a plus four when your uh, rank uh, is 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 four rank because basically you have like more pressure to do things in your downtime uh uh because ev everybody in slytherin is like we gotta get those points we gotta like we gotta do good homework do good please the teachers and and like get back up there so basically the lower <laughs> rank you have the more you can do in downtime um so emory you're all the 13 
uh, that is excellent. It's going to count as a 10 plus. So you get free. Recover in the infirmary, make friends, study, please the teachers, prepare for the worst, and keep an eye out. All right. I think uh, Zeke is going to try to study first. Okay. So you mark, um, you mark experience. And that means I leveled up. Woo. Nice. And um, I think he, even though he's not feeling like major like house pride yet, he mm -hmm. probably feels a little bad that their shenanigans uh, resulted in bringing the house rank down. So mm -hmm. he's definitely going to try to uh, please the teachers. Okay. And so you raise the house rank by one. Which teacher and how? Um, I'm going to say, let's see. Hmm. Uh, we've got Professor Trelawney in history of uh, magic. Now that the uh, ghost is a bit, ghost's knowledge is a bit outdated, and that, well, uh, Firenze is teaching um, uh, divination. Uh, we've got Hagrid is still going to be uh, like taking care of the uh, of the um, animal handling class, whose name I forgot. Uh, care of magical creatures. Thank you very much. And there's the three that I introduced, and uh, the rest you can kind of assume are the same characters as we had in the in the books. So I'm gonna forward. say uh, the defense against the dark arts teacher. Like I think, okay. I think like the first class was like kind of like traumatic for him, but um, afterward he kind he kind of liked it. It's ba it was basically like his version of gym class, and he really likes likes yes. it. Yeah, like it's it's gym class, but she keeps telling you you're gonna learn one safety and then start to actually shoot stuff. Uh, what? Okay. Um, oh. I have an idea. Uh, do you? She is currently uh, working on setting up a training course. You know, uh, like uh, um, somewhere on the grounds, uh, and she uh, welcomes a little bit of help with the construction. Yeah, I think Zeke good? would definitely be down for that. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, you study, you uh, help her out. So everybody, the uh, Slytherin are now uh, third rank, uh, and that also means that you guys are. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yay! Uh, it also means that you guys are now. Uh, uh, bu -bu Confounded. Mistrusted. Ah, uh, confounded. Yeah. Uh, mi uh, mistrusted is not on the character sheet anymore. Uh, cool. So you can you can all then click exposed and scold it. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, two, two, two. You no, uh, just scold it. My bad. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay. And what was the third thing that you wanted to do? You can choose three. Um. The. Th Third one, I think uh, Zeke doesn't have many friends outside of this group, so I think he's gonna try to make some friends, okay. um, gain camaraderie. I think, even though the uh, <laughs> even though uh, Zen uh, is a little bit um, like <laughs> rivals with Moira, I think uh, the fact that she was like so cool about hey. Uh, don't don't tell anyone that you saw my dad turn into a vampire or a bat. Um, like was like pretty cool, and so he would want to, you know, okay. try to see if she would want to just hang out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so yeah, you can mark camaraderie with her. Um, she seems very good at keeping the sec uh, uh, a secret from your time hanging out with her, but she seems extra curious about vampirism and asks you a lot of uh, questions, details of your curse that you hadn't thought to ask uh, or, or, uh, or stuff like this, like, um, and, and like, 
this whole time you see her uh like thinking it over not for you but just just like just being interested in that subject um cool so yeah mark camaraderie with her uh okay next up we have uh annie you rolled a 12 so you also choose three and um nice. and you got detention so give me just one second nice. uh you got caught by oh i know you got caught by uh with uh, uh with maria um uh in defense against the dark arts so uh you, all of you are going to be constructing the uh the the course with uh the defense against the dark arts teacher uh except for two of you it's it's a punishment for one of you it's a way to get uh house ranks back up. <laughs> um okay yeah. so gotta stick together we're friends <laughs> you got you have to choose uh three of the options uh in the downtime what would you like to choose any nice uh downtime option uh you've got recovering the infirmary make friends study please the teachers prepare for the west and uh keep an eye out Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I think I'm like probably like since uh, Zandrin is also here. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to gain camaraderie with him. So I'm gonna like make friends with him. Okay. Uh, what uh, are you guys? Uh, you know, talking Quidditch while constructing the course, or um, like uh, uh, relating the 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 fu uh, like to the funniest situations you the two of you have been in since you joined Hogwarts. Uh, hmm, I don't know, uh, I think I'm, like, pr probably gonna, like, ask, like, uh, Xandrin about, like, you know, like, what happened, like, how, like, how did, like, it go, like, pretending to be this older kid, like, what do older kids do, like, the, the, I, I, like, I, I, is it true, like, they, like, try to pair up or something like that, is that a thing, no? <laughs> nice. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I regale him with tales of how half of the class paid attention and just pulled a Zeke. A quarter of the class didn't pay attention and pulled a Xandrin. And then about another quarter of the class were too busy in each other to really care about what was going on. Rather they were working together or what, wasn't sure. I was too busy trying to figure out how to make stink bombs. <laughs> 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 then I passed out, and I don't remember the rest of this. <laughs> but I got caught in the dark arts, so I didn't get to see that. <laughs> By the way, Bogarts are terrifying. <laughs> ooh, ooh, what, like, bo bo Bogarts are those, like, like, like shape-changing things I read, read about, right? They turn into your worst fear. Oh, that sounds cool! I wonder what my worst fear is. Uh, ooh, could be like a, like a giant... Could, ooh, could be like a meteorite that's like is coming towards me and I need to bat it. Ooh, that would be nice. I mean, terrifying, yeah, would, but nice. I was just gonna say that was that would be like a dream for you. Well, yeah, yeah, but what if I don't have a bat? Oh no. <laughs> that, okay, <laughs> yeah, that would be significantly worse. <laughs> oh no, I don't have a bat. I. <laughs> uh, I'm tempted to say that uh it would probably manifest into a a very you know like human looking plastic broom uh uh that uh, uh, that would signify like you know just regular not magic mundane mundanity <laughs> oh no yeah uh, your broom uh, huh. doesn't fly I... oh yeah oh yeah that all that, the magic that, you that, see that is fine, just yeah. normal yeah. yep <laughs> okay, so uh, that's one make friends. Uh, mm -hmm. Hmm. 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 Uh, I could try to please the teachers. You know what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So everybody. Yeah, we're gonna throw a. 
we're gonna throw a stink bomb in the headmistress's office later. I need to like get a, <laughs> get some goodwill going. <laughs> okay. I need to get some goodwill going. I don't know why. It's <laughs> Uh, okay, so in this case, uh, Sliverins are now in second place. Um, oh my god. So, okay, so... It's Gryffindor, Sliverin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. Don't worry, guys, Ooh. I'll put us back in our rightful position at the bottom if you just give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah. wait, we need to, like, we, we, we're trying to win the thing, right? Uh, you're, yeah, tech, uh, um, so it's, um, it's a, it's a complicated, like, as a game mechanic, your characters are probably trying to win the house cup, and what matters most, it is what, uh, which rank you're at when we decide the year is over, um, and the house cup is, is is attributed, so we'll like we'll see. But in game, it's more of a mechanic to uh, uh, to kind of like determine how much free time you have in downtime and uh, how much like uh, um, yeah, like uh, uh, it's 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 more of a it's more of a mechanic and it's more neutral. Uh, you can move your rank around like this to have the the um, to have uh, the move that uh, that you prefer not being um, uh, penalized. So right now you you only have uh, you're you're exposed. You have minus two to perceive something you're not supposed to. Everybody is kind of like you know uh, um, keeping their eye on the number two house uh, a little bit. Okay, so. Um. Okay, and what what is your third option? Oh yeah, uh, three. Uh, uh, hmm. 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 Uh, okay. Let me actually quickly check something. Uh, no. Yes. No. Maybe. Uh, okay. No. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh. Uh. Hmm. I. Uh, we can. I, we can. I, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, so if I choose prepare for the worst, like, do I have to choose like which move I get to use the paragon option, like, or no. I can use it for any move, but like only once. Yeah, you can use it for any move, just only once, and you roll. Uh, uh, uh and basically when you roll for a twelve, you 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 get like the special effects of having the paragon ah. move. Um, okay. Okay. So if I like roll less than 12 i don't like miss the like i don't mm -hmm. lose this no thing, you right? don't okay so i you don't can... you, I, you right, prepare I for the west to, like, yeah i think i'm going to prepare okay for the west. all right i don't so, know what is this what i'm preparing for but i have this feeling since we're gonna stink bomb the headmistress <laughs> i don't need to prepare for the worst okay you got it <laughs> and, no, no, I just feel like it. and last of all um so uh Zandrin, uh, what are the three things that you are going to do on top of detention before uh, the the plan goes down? Oh, so I don't have to use up one of these to do my plan? No, you don't. Uh, um, Ooh, like, uh, brilliant. Bas uh, basically, the, um, the way the downtime move works kind of fills up that time with opportunities for us to describe scenes of you you know you guys making friends or pleasing the teachers or okay. like um, lear learning stuff and clues then i have one question yeah for my mystery uh the someone was sneaking out mm -hmm. um i mean I've, I've found out it was moira she was sneaking out to meet up with the muggles outside the castle um, to talk to someone, but she claims it was to be protecting as opposed to, you know, like ratting out. Mm -hmm. Would that be like, okay, I found out who it was and what they were trying to do. Now the mystery is what it, what, what precisely they're yeah. trying to protect yeah. us from, there's, or is that not a mystery complete? Um, so 
the mystery is not all the way complete. There's there's more to this story that you okay. haven't found. You d um, so uh, basically, uh, uh, if you you you're going to need to keep um, like acquiring clues until you figure out like more details because uh, there's right. there's there's more to this situation that uh, uh, that you don't know. Uh, um, that you act like that you don't, are not aware of yet. Okay, then For, I am you going. You don't know to... who she was supposed to meet and why specifically, like yeah. stuff like this. You know. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is. Okay, I I want to scroll up to wherever. Oh, there they are. Okay. I want to. Right now we have second place, so we're exposed. I don't like that minus. Okay. Uh, what does helpless do? Is that minus two to lend a hand or something? No, it's minus two to receive unexpected help, um, which, which would mean, for example, like if you're. If you're in trouble and you're like, oh, I have camaraderie with Hagrid, Hagrid could come in and say, oh, yeah, I, I told them to go and uh, um, uh, uh, transport this uh, stink bomb. They just must have gotten lost. You get a minus two penalty to try to get that because the people in the first place, uh, nobody really wants to help them. Uh, so that's why. Do you want to please the teachers? Okay, then I want to recover the infirmary to get rid of my restrained stuff. Okay, you got it. Um, so that's one. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I want to prepare for the worst on okay. to get a paragon option. Okay. And lastly. I think so I feel like we're definitely about to get caught, and we might not. <laughs> I do always have a plan. So do you want to... Uh, by the way, you can take uh, the same options multiple times. Um, not the prepare for uh, for the West, but all of the other ones. So if you want to... Uh, make friends multiple times or study multiple times you can gain camaraderie twice with the same person or with two different people things like this i i want to make friends because i hope that everything that's about to go down goes down the way i want it to okay. and i want to gain camaraderie with moira moira okay so keep, you're good. Yeah, keep your friends close, but mm -hmm. your enemies closer. Yeah. Okay. So um, the two, the two of you are um, going to like spend a bit of time together, uh, and you, that also means you you spend spend a bit of time with uh, Ezekiel, who's going to who's also like gaining camaraderie mm -hmm. with Moira. So you can write it down on your character sheet. Um, what what sort of you know what are you the two of you doing well she is uh very much interested and in, you know talking to zeke about the the vampire stuff that's going on mm -hmm. and so i just so happened to maybe have possibly read a book when i was in depth studying a few things mm -hmm. about pyrotechnics and I, I share my my uh, vast knowledge on the subject and how fire bad. Um, <laughs> they like. Uh, so you read Frankenstein? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I I just hear vampires don't like fire. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> and, and some obscure knowledge is like, oh, actually, if a vampire does this, fire doesn't hurt them. Yeah. Uh, but it's hard to find a dragon these days. <laughs> uh, uh, you see Moira like uh, really like pay attention and uh, um, and and say, yeah. I mean, if sunlight is 
uh, kills them. Uh, then I imagined fire that's hotter. Oh yeah, that would be super dangerous for a vampire. Do you think? Do you think they tell the new vampires all of their weaknesses and and list it off so that they're prepared? I mean, I just kind of found out that my dad turns into a bat, so I guess it's personal preference. Right. So, he's not very good at preparing people for the the world at large. I I wouldn't say that. I I mean, I didn't even know a, my, I didn't even know I had a dad until about two years ago, and that wasn't his fault, that was my mom. Did she at least tell you not to go outside? I I can go outside as long as I wear something, uh, you know, it depends if it's sunny. If it's sunny, I have to put layers on. Yeah, so did you know that or did you just like run outside and be like, ow, it hurts, and then run back inside? You, you... I always thought I had a very bad sunburn. Yeah. Like, basically, you got sun sunburns very easily. You're extremely polite when it comes to, you know, like, being invited into a home before before coming in. And garlic is not a repellent, but it does, like, you have a strong allergy to foods with garlic. So it's... Um, I... <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I stronger sense of smell, so garlic just naturally is more strong to use. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not bad. that you're allergic, it's just oh god, please. <laughs> I, I I really like I really like the the concept of uh half vampires being the um lactose intolerance of the of the magical world. Uh where they're where where they're half vampires and they're like, yeah, I know I shouldn't eat the garlic bread, but have you tasted garlic bread? <laughs> Reminds yep. me of, uh, again, what we do in the shadows. I am having pizza pie. The garlic burns a little. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so, you raise, uh, you didn't raise house rank. You, uh, you gained one camaraderie. Uh, uh, you did your time in uh, detention and uh, made friends with Moira and recovered in the, in the infirmary. Okay, cool. Uh, I uh, prepared for the worst with one of them. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, um, so... Hold on. You prepared for the worst, uh, befriended mm -hmm. Moira and... Um, mm -hmm. do, 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 and recovered in the infirmary. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so... Now, clear all hexes doesn't apply to the house hex, right? Yeah, it does not. Uh, it's the only... Uh, you, you're you always having uh, one hex that is marked at all times on your character okay. sheet. Which means you have seven life points, in essence. Um, or eight. Anyways. Um, okay, that night, uh, the perfection... The, the, the conditions are perfect for your little heist you have uh you have gathered a little bit of information about you know mcgonagall uh uh going uh outside of hogwarts for an important meeting of witches uh you like you don't know specifically what it's about you just know that it's it's like a, a very high very important uh members of the wizards community so you have your perfect opportunity do you want to uh roll to have a plan i always have a plan yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's see here it, it's not always going to be a good plan <laughs> it's just a plan <laughs> yeah. yeah nobody said the plan had to be good <laughs> Uh, yeah, do you, you, you a ten. ten? Excellent. Okay, can oh you can you uh, read what this does? Um, so on a ten up, I get to ask two. Um, okay. what's the best way in slash pass? Which I already, I figure I already got that because I have the password. Mm -hmm. Um, the other two are what here is useful or valuable to me, 
and how could I best infuriate or provoke? Okay. Um, so those are the two that you're asking, right? Yes. Okay. Um, best infuriate and provoke. Um, I don't. I don't necessarily want to infuriate. Mm -hmm. I just wanna. I want to. Uh, obviously provoke the headmistress to like actually come out and be like who left a stink bomb in my room you know yeah. <laughs> that way it's known it happened and then i can giggle in the corner like mm -hmm. okay so yeah um uh i think i think uh like you you realize that um the stink bomb is is going to uh like be upsetting if you want to particularly provoke her, you have to make sure she knows it's from a student, not from a uh, uh, not from um, Peeves, the, the 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 trickster poltergeist. Otherwise, she might just be like, oh, I know the day with Peeves, right? Um, yeah. You figure that uh, uh, you know. If you are, if the if the portraits are, if one of the portraits sees you not being a, a, a ten year old, uh, an eleven year old that does not fly around like peeves, they will they will know. So that that would be the best way to provoke. And uh, the other thing that uh, you you wanted to what mm -hmm. could I actually ask the same question twice? Well, no, because that'd be to a different, entirely different yeah. thing. Uh, so uh, the other one is, what here is useful or valuable to me? Um, if I can, I'm obviously trying to find the specific Hufflepuff location. Because naturally, my okay. enemy, I have to be able to whisper, okay. it's the third picture on the left. And then just lean back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I um, know. <laughs> I see, I really don't see someone just you know making a written note of it that you could find so yeah. instead what i think is is going to um uh, uh, uh you're going to find that some like it's the headmistress's uh office there's mm -hmm. uh magical portraits with a lot of wisdom there's a uh pensive that's uh that is in part of the room there's have an idea a gigantic phoenix like there's l a tremendous amount of valuable magical stuff in there all right um so then is it possible that i could find a either a powerful magical item that might be useful uh or a uh, like a, a little secret between like please don't mention this to these portraits something that's not immediately useful but it's like if if used correctly oh right to obviously set um, up for one of the other pranks well but... well like that will depend on your role when uh, you roll to basically uh, break the rules so yeah you have you have your plan. You know that yes. there's a horde of magical stuff in that room. You know mm -hmm. that if you if you make sure that you're seen by one of the portraits, it will be infuriating. Those are your answers. Right. Um, okay. How do how do you guys proceed with the heist? So uh, I I get my crew together. Okay. Um, <laughs> as we meet up. Uh, I don't invite Moira, but if she shows up, she shows up. Um, <laughs> she's she's busy elsewhere. You you didn't see her in the in the Perfect. in the common room at all. Well, she's a Hufflepuff, so yeah, no, she 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 can't. So never mind. So um, I uh, I I get I get my uh, crew together, and um, I say okay. Oh, Firstly. No. We have to make sure it's known that a student did this. Not necessarily a particular student, just that a student did it. Secondly, Toby, it's the headmistress's office. There's going to be some cool stuff in there. Uh, there's also yeah, and there's like a year's worth of detention. And That's like why. maybe ma magic like shield thingies. 
are those the thing like magic force fields? Like like you know. We have the. Sh I mean, I have a shield Star spell. Star Wars force fields. Uh, do you guys know about Star Wars force fields? I don't know if you know about Star Wars. Force Star fields. Wars. Why are the stars attacking each other? It's it's a movie series. Never mind. They have these like invisible like invisible energy wall things. Do you, like yeah. Well, might have either way, that. what what I'll need you to do is Zeke. You make sure that the portrait notice students. Obviously, we're going to disguise our house and who we are. And if one of them happens to be taller, Toby-sized, or oh, well, I don't know. Do you need high heels? I know a couple of girls. Uh, you handle that. <laughs> Cole, I'm going to need you to bring a bag in case we need to take something, and I also need you to be a lookout. So you'll stand. You'll 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 let me know if someone's coming. So I can get out quickly. Cool. It's fine if they see us and know we're students. It's not good if they see exactly who we are. So okay, okay. I, cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. I'll go in there. Uh, I'll plant the bomb, and then we'll like, get out. Should we like, like you know, like cover our faces in mud or something? <gasps> I have an idea. Hold still. I'm gonna try a spell. Uh, uh, I'm. On I'm, so I'm you have a mask. Are you are you trying to apply magic with your disguise? I learned a thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna do it to my friends just like and boom. So I, I kind of look towards Cole I'm, first. I'm concerned. Do you have a mask? But okay. I don't you want have to use a mask? mask? No, no okay. I don't have a mask. Well, you can take a pillowcase, put it over your head, and cut some holes. If you don't want me to try magic. Uh, like how how good are you with this? Well, I learned it today, and I, and the teacher told me I was exceptionally good at it. Did, 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 did he really say that, or are you just saying that to them? I have my reservations about this plan. Uh, why don't you uh, do it on Zeke first? Oh, okay. Yeah, so Zeke... Oh, gee, thanks! I, I can make you look like Toby. Oh, gee, it's always what I've wanted. And then, <laughs> like that you, idiot. Can, then you can have the portraits see Toby. Hoping this happened. Hmm. I don't know. What you've always wanted. You can put Toby. Like, Toby's been really pestering you, you know? How about you just try to change my clothes to look like uh, Gryffindor clothes? Ooh. And I'll just try to mention something about Toby that maybe the portraits will pick up on. If that's what you want, then so be it. Okay. I just don't want you to ruin my face. I don't want to look like that idiot for the rest of my life. How, how smart are, are they? Like, like, yeah. like smart, smart, or are they like, like not smart, smart? Uh, Toby. Oh, the portraits. No, the, no, oh, the portraits. The 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 portraits are supposed to have all of the wisdom of the people they represent. It's a bit complicated exactly how they're supposed to work and if they count as. Uh, sentient beings or not they seem to be treated as uh, second class citizens by wizards in general uh who are you know not allowed to make a lot of decisions but are allowed to give counsel and service messengers basically um so yeah you uh could you roll to apply magic to change the clothes on uh to 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 use your disguise spell yeah which by the way i'm not the best at magic but yeah oh wait i also have a change color hey, spell. i did it yeah you <laughs> Yay. Did. oh sweet you did it. i actually have a minus to that by the way <laughs> yeah like uh uh it's it's uh wits based it's the ravenclaw thing and ravenclaws tend to be uh less pranks the least pranksters um as at least in my in my humble opinion um okay when you face a situation for which you prepared by listening in class you roll plus wits on a hits you perform the magic correctly on a seven or a nine you choose one the magic affects one extra unintended person the magical effect is stronger or weaker than expected and an unforeseen side effect of the magic complicates things 
An extra unintended person it is. Okay. All right. So you, um, you, 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 tr- you start uh, changing, changing the colors on uh, uh, on your friend's uh, robes into Gryffindor colors, and uh, um, it 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 basically looks like your your spraying a can like with your wand a can of, yeah. of paint like onto uh onto um ezekiel and that just changes the 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 red uh the the colors and uh it's going to spray the uh like uh, uh, the, you, you don't control the range really well, so uh, the, there's another student who's that's standing behind Ezekiel that's just going to have like all of their clothes cha- <laughs> uh, changed from uh, into a Gryffindor thing and being like, "What the?" <laughs> um, so yeah, this uh, this. Uh, uh, this person is going to uh i don't think it okay so this person is going to be a little bit mad at you um and is going to uh demand that you change the clothes back i mean i have the change color spell would that possibly work on Mm -hmm. this yeah okay then yeah, I'm gonna roll to apply magic. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like the introduction that I had done for uh, Professor uh, the for the Transfiguration teacher, where he was like, "Magic is change, and change can be permanent, and that and that's why we have <laughs> blood curses and people who transform into snakes when they get too old, or chickens." <laughs> yeah, that was great. Yeah. Uh, two, 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 okay. So uh, you, again, seven or nine. So you choose one. You you are able to perform the magic correctly. Uh, extra unintended person. Uh, magical effect is stronger or weaker than expected, and an unforeseen side effect of the magic complicates things. I would say the magic is stronger or weaker than expected um, okay. because I want to change it back. So maybe it just changes them back for like a minute, and we're already out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Um, Jokes on them. <laughs> yeah. So you 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 get you get out of that situation. Um, okay. So the you you guys leave uh, the sliver in common room. Who is going to be? Uh, so this is your plan, um, uh, Xander, Xanderin. So I would like for you to roll uh, break the rules, and the other two can be. Uh, lending a hand if you're near like a threshold. Yes. Nine. Oh. Excellent. So you are near a threshold. Uh, somebody. I could... do not have any camaraderie to spend with you yet. <laughs> That's understandable. Um, okay. Oh, didn't you have have like one each or something? Or no? Yeah, but I already spent it earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to roll plus loyalty, let's see what happens. I okay. could have one camaraderie with you that I just got. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, ahead. loyalty... no, lend a hand, there yeah, you go. Yeah, lend a hand, that's the way. Nice! Okay. Uh, Very nice. Spicy. Uh, no, that's a failure. That's... I know, that's spicy. <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> so you, you actually, uh, so Can, you, you said we to... can spend camaraderie for others? Yes. So well, you can, I, you can spend camaraderie to, uh, lend a hand to someone and basically mm-hmm. boost them by one. So if you spend a camaraderie to help him help you, uh, it would, it, and you succeeded, it would come back around. Let's do it. Okay. So you spend... <laughs> I, mean, I can, pro- I can probably help Cole. <laughs> So uh, here's the funny yeah, thing. I'm an heard. I'm an enabler, so this is even better. <laughs> oh yeah, so you, oh, no. you I enable you to be better at helping me. Yeah, uh, when it's for nef- ne- uh, for it's when it's for uh, breaking the rules smooth. specifically. Yeah, breaking the rules. Okay. Wait, wait, what is enabler? 
It's it's a move. Oh. It's it's a move yeah. uh, from his playbook. Um, okay, so go ahead and. Uh, unfortunately, I rolled doggy doo doo. All right. Oh my gosh, so, this is gonna be great. Okay. So I um, I don't think I can uh and I can't spend the one for Ezekiel to have Ezekiel help me, right? Uh, you could uh f to to get to receive unexpected help from uh, Ezekiel. Yeah, but unfortunately, receive unexpected help can give mm -hmm. you a plus one, and a plus one would not get you out of uh it would bring you to five, which is still. Uh, well, no, a plus one to break the rules would take me to ten. Right. Oh, yeah, that. Okay, uh, right now, uh, give me just one second. Yeah, fudge. fudge, fudge. This is going to be great. Okay. I can't wait to see how it plays out. Okay. This is going to be amazing. So, uh, let's, let's, do, let's do the result of the uh, rules we've made so far. Uh, you breaking the rules was uh, a 7 to 9. So, uh, you choose 2. You don't get into trouble. Uh, you don't get hurt. Uh, it doesn't take a long time, and nobody bad finds out. This is just for sneaking into the headmistress's office. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Come on, computer, it'll work. <sighs> Sorry, I did not get sleep last night. <laughs> so. I will not get hurt, okay. and obviously I want to get in trouble, and I want someone to find out. That's that's the whole point of the okay. thing finding out and uh, her responding to it. So I'm gonna keep the we do get in trouble, okay. and someone finds out, but it doesn't take us long because I know the password, and two we don't get hurt because I know the password. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Okay. So everything is going to go smoothly and you're going to get caught before you leave the office is how I'm going to interpret the lend a hand rules and the break the rules. Uh, okay. So you sneak, uh, uh, you sneak it, you, uh, you whisper the password to Draconis Petroleum and uh, the, the statue shifts, uh, letting you, uh, granting you access. Um, the paintings are asleep, but uh, this very large red bird uh, that you hadn't seen before is going to be awakened by your presence and is going to screech loudly as a, a few flames uh, emerge from her uh, from his uh, um, uh, feathers and. Uh, is going to take off and uh, warn somebody bad. Yay! <laughs> that was the intent. Yeah. Um, and then, uh... Are we near the paintings? Yeah, the paintings are kind of all over you, and when the, the fox um, uh, screeched, uh, a couple of them, like, stop pretending to be asleep and are, are, are like, observe this. Uh, you, you hear, like, conversations between a few of them that are, like, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, like pretend like hush whispered like I'm having like a pretend conversation with these guys like come on Toby told us to get in here and out quick. <laughs> like, oh my god! <laughs> nice. Um, As the only one with visible house marking, that's great. <laughs> great. Uh, so. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, uh, the house rank is dropped by one, so it's exchange. So it's now uh, Makes sense. Gryffindor Sweet. first and Slytherin second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Where are you going to like? How do you proceed now? Uh, where do you put the stink bomb? Um, like, so. Uh, um... Mm -hmm. I I know that there's something useful in here, okay. so I uh, I have prepared a little note, and on, on that note I have uh, kind of like you know written in from your loving students. Thanks for letting us borrow this, okay. and then I find oh, no. something that looks um I don't I, something that looks 
that I'd be able to use. Okay. You know, so it's some right. some kind of magical item. I just kind yeah. of look around, like that's you... obviously magical. That's cool. Grab it, and I take the uh, the bottle, mm-hmm. plug my nose, and then I like ever so slightly uncork it so that to where whenever you grab it, it's gonna like open up, mm-hmm. and then go everywhere. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, you 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 let enough of the stink out that it's going to be noticeable, but you also like put it precariously like on uh, on on a ledge, uh, ready yeah. to ready to spill. Um, Next okay. to the note that says, "Thanks from the students." Okay, uh, you are you're, you're loving to, students. You uh, you pick up oh, this. No. Um, like you, you, you pick up this uh, crystal ball that seem uh, that has a a, um, uh, a cl- like fog inside of it, like most crystal balls, but also um, uh, flashes of lightning uh, and uh, the the occasional rumble of thunder can be heard uh, uh, coming out of it. So it feels like you have this imprisoned uh, uh, storm. Yeah, like. Um, uh, mailstorm, uh, in like in there. Uh, you're also going to uh, notice every now and then uh, scratching noises coming from the inside of the orb, as if uh, claws are wrapping against the, the the crystal of the sphere. Um, so yeah, you can write down that you stole this, and um, okay. The uh, you're starting to hear, uh, um, like the statue shift around uh, as somebody else is coming in, in here. Does anybody want to try to uh, get out of this situation? Yeah. Ooh, I, yeah. I, I was on like a lookout outside, right? So I yes. could like see if someone is coming. Okay, so as, as a lookout, you're, you're going to see, um, Let's see. Yeah, Professor McGonagall uh, apparates, oh uh, apparates like uh, into the corridor and is making her way towards you guys. What do you do? Distract her. Uh, let me know. What is um? Oh no. What what do we roll for find a way out? Uh, find a way out is plus uh, uh, cunning. It's one of the slivering moves. Okay, let me take a look. Let's see. Okay, I th- think. Um, hmm. I have I have a playbook move that I might also be able to use too, because I can do the extend senses thing if I. Mm-hmm. Hmm. If you unleash the beast, uh, that would give you yeah. extra information right now. Uh, I'm not certain that that gets you out of that situation. Okay, that makes sense. Then I'm going to... Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure we all have like a plus one in cunning, right? Uh, yeah. I have a plus dose. Okay, then you should uh, roll to find a way out. I only have a plus one. Alright, I will, I will try and find us a way out, because guess what, guys? I always have a plan for this. You, you cool. didn't. You, Huzzah! Nine, excellent. Woo! Okay. Uh, okay. So when you have a chance to leave a situation and you take it, you roll plus cunning. Uh, on a hit, you get away. Um, you choose two. Uh, you don't leave something important behind. You don't run into something worse, and you don't get hurt, so you don't mark a hex. I feel like you are uh, inevitably some leaving something important behind. At this at this point, no, 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 no. You see, in my uh, it, as uh, Cole obviously gives me the hey, someone's coming. Okay. Uh, heads up! I'm like, oh crap! I've got this cool magic item in my hands. So I'm like, it, it, put it up against my chest like a like a smart person mm-hmm. and stuff it in my robe, and we bolt so we don't leave anything behind and don't run into something worse, but. You know, having a magical item that you don't know what it does right next to you is not always the safest thing. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Uh, you are uh, you are going to mark uh, tired. Uh, it I'm gives you a tired. minus two to hit the library. Um, okay. 
Yep. Is that for all uh, of us? No, it's it's just him. It kind of seeps your energy away. Now, the move does specify when you have a chance to leave a situation and you take it. Um, what is your, like, how are you getting out of this situation? So, you know, like, like we had uh, arranged beforehand, Cole was going to be a lookout. So mm -hmm. when, you know, when they appear in the court, uh, in the hallway, he's like, crap, you know, someone's here. Let's me know inside as I'm looking at this magical ball. Like, what does this even do? Oh, wow, it's got sounds and lightning and someone's here. Crap, stuff it in. It starts <laughs> draining my energy and it's heavy. So I'm like, ugh. And I just bolt out mm -hmm. with uh, coal and we all just immediately head for the stairs and, when, you know, we're gone and all, you know, all they see okay. is kind of just these three robes yeah. flash by and, you know, a little flurry of Toby's house. Okay. Um, nice. you, uh, like, you, you, you get away, uh, McGonagall seems, uh, like, considers following you for, for a second, um, but then she heads into the office to, to check, like, what happened, um, and, uh, yeah, she's pretty sure she did catch uh, out of the corner of her eye, some red and gold colors from uh, the the disguises you guys put on. Uh, but also, you uh, she's a headmistress, and she can definitely ask teachers for uh, students' homeworks and identify your handwriting, which she will next time on Chronicles of Hogwarts. <laughs> Uh, this was an excellent I, game, so excellent that we played 45 I, I, more minutes I, than I thought we were going to. Yeah, I, was I, I would like to say that, like, the last last scene of this, like, episode, maybe, like, uh, McGonagall enters her office and the stink bomb activates. <laughs> she pulls the card out from the bottle, bottle tilts, wait, there's a bottle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have just a piece of, like, rope... Uh, uh, that she can trip the the bottle with. That that's perfect. Okay. Uh, you can mark that you have successfully uh, um, bomb. done your second prank. Um, I think like basically the 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 prankster uh, is basically like mm, I took the beacon playbook from masks and I was like that but with pranks and. Uh, this is this was really concept. fun. I think like we have a a, a a very strong group dynamic with yeah. like the all four of us. We kind of bounce off of each other's ideas pretty well. So, right. um, and then we have the uh, ending questions, right? Yes, that is uh, correct. Thank you for I rem remembering. The the, the, <laughs> thank you for remembering. <laughs> all right. That's my favorite part of Monster of the Week is at the uh -huh. end, um, because usually you know it uh, results in like some leveling up. So it's always <laughs> like yeah. one of my priorities. Okay. Oh, speaking of leveling up, um, I did take the uh, Father will find out about this move yeah. from the vein um, yeah. when I leveled up. I, I saw you sending that in, in chat. Like which lower which... in um, uh, this system though, because like you don't like gain XP on a miss, so you know this is definitely yeah. lower. Yeah, like, uh, I saw that every Powered by the Apocalypse game kind of gave you experience for different things that they wanted you to do. So, um, like, uh, what's it called? Um, Sh Urban Shadows has, you, you need to interact with one member of each of the four supernatural factions. Uh, and once you've interacted with uh, at, at least one of each, you you reset and you have to interact with one of you each again so it's uh what i wanted to try to encourage in this game is basically like take the time to learn stuff in uh in class but also uh like solving mysteries and pulling the pranks game can give you experience yeah. so like there's there's uh multiple ways but whatever it does it's like it's always something that is pushing the story forward. So you guys are, you know, by trying to get experience points, you're pushing the story forwards. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it is also interesting, like, uh, like listening in class, like paying attention to the studies, like 
give you XP, but like then we're also like encouraged to like you know do our fast moves, which actually don't give us XP. So yeah. Like that kind of takes away that part also. Well, yeah, and like it's it's negotiation of are you going to uh, are you going to be listening because you're learning like literally magic, or are you uh, willing to, uh, or or does your personality uh, that comes from the playbook like take over and you you use your playbook move uh, instead? So um, okay, everybody can say. Uh, uh, did your characters learn anything new and important? Um, to, 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 yeah, at the end of each game, each player can explain how they, their characters have grown closer to one another and mark camaraderie with another player character and slash or say what important lesson they experienced and mark experience. So, uh, who would like to begin? Uh, Emery? Um, let's see. I want to say for camaraderie, like, just this whole event with uh, Zeke's dad definitely um, kind of made him grow closer to the to the others. Um, yeah. So I would say for the camaraderie option. Mm -hmm. You have shown clear uh, vulnerabilities and trusted your friends to, you know, with those vulnerabilities. So it absolutely makes sense. So yeah, you can mark uh, camaraderie with both of them. Uh, the Alrighty. other two. Um, what were the other two? I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm asking the 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 other two if they okay, if gotcha. they learned uh, something important, like if they le uh, uh, learned something important uh, that helped them grow as a character, or if they've grown closer to uh, to other player characters. I feel I feel like as far as first interactions go, uh, uh, Xandra and you you managed to like get involved with the group pretty well. Yeah, yeah, I would say uh, for, for Xandra, it was definitely a uh, a double tap on camaraderie there between mm -hmm. uh, everybody. Really, uh, it was it wasn't really anything I would say that was like okay character development. Mm -hmm. So. And, and yeah. as opposed to the XP, you know, it, it was definitely like, well, you know, got got Cole and Ezekiel to, to you know, stop. It was like, uh, you're a vampire. No, I'm not. Be quiet. You're a vampire. <laughs> you should be quiet. <laughs> to to get more to the, uh, all right, cool guys, let's go do something. Yeah, like yeah. you've 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 found raw talent, and now you're channeling them into your tracks. Of course. Um, okay. So yeah, you you can you can mark camaraderie with both of them. Um, what about Cole? I think Cole definitely like. I I mean, we went on this epic prank with like Xandrin, and I think um, Cole had always like had the like potential to be a prankster, just not the means or interest to do so. But I think someone enabling them to do <laughs> so is <laughs> that's perfect. He's got a move called He's enabler. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think like you choosing the pl prankster playbook might have been perfect for this like particular PC dynamic. Yeah. 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 I I feel I feel like um before this game session uh we we had a nice dynamic going but you were not like I think so, you only rolled to break the rules a single time when you were going after the the into the west wing i feel like now it's going to be at least one breaking the rules yes. per game so okay. <laughs> which is exactly why i chose the uh, upgrade um because like yeah, it's specifically <laughs> when the rules are broken right <laughs> uh, i the thought that was perfect like, plus, uh, plus you know his was dad was saying, introduced the original tree was interesting but they were certainly more passive protagonists and mm. now we have Zandrin who has way more activity for, yeah. for the rest yeah. of us combined like more um, activity to share yeah and i feel i feel like we're making decent progress which with everyone's mysteries uh but like you know keeping keeping a good pace considering in the storyline was we're a little bit after halloween so cool all right, I'm going to stop the recording. Have a great day, everyone.
You too. Bye. Hey y'all. Thanks for watching the whole video. Please like and share and subscribe so that I can keep making content like this. Also, please consider having a look at my other channel. I upload new games for my campaigns weekly and I do regular Game Master tips and monthly tabletop role-playing games reviews on the other channel. Thank you all for your support and have a great day!